Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Goodness me, ridiculous scenes down in Durban. Ireland have beaten South Africa 25 points to 24. Incredible test match, and one word, one name, one player, player to speak about, and that is Kieran Foley. The the scenes really incredible, absolutely incredible. To first of all come on off the bench and uh, nail a drop goal out of nowhere, and then with the time up and being two points down, to then be slot back in the pocket and nail a drop goal in that kind of circumstance. You know, as a Bok fan, it's it's heartbreaking. As as a rugby fan, you kind of just have to admire it, to be honest. You kind of just have to take a step back and just be like, that's impressive. I mean, those are one of those moments you dream of as a player. And fair play, I think, to be honest. I think the box weren't the better side for a lot of that game. And, and I think paid the price in the end. Um, all the points the box scored coming off the boot of Andre Pollard. So not the best game from a Springbok point of view, but what a game of rugby. I think let's just appreciate that. And I think a shout out to Ireland and, and the supporters, shout out to the box, to the, the coaching staff, a proper, proper two test match series. And how frustrating isn't it that there isn't a third? You know, I mean, how brilliantly would this have been set up to have had a third test match next week in Bloemfontein, in Cape Town, in a, in a, in a in Mombela, for example, we've been robbed, absolutely robbed of what would have been one of the all-time great test matches if we had a decider next week. It's not to be. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's just unfortunate, isn't it? Before we look at the, the game, sort of break it down, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, it was a game of two halves, which sounds like very, very um, complicated analysis, but uh, genuinely was, to be perfectly honest. In the first half, I thought that... Um, that island were, were all over the box. Scored a phenomenal try, that Conor Murray try. We'll go through the point scoring and the order, for example. But uh, I thought the box didn't really pitch up in that first half. A couple of early injuries, which didn't really help. Um, and, you know, Lu Louis, uh, losing Villarou early on. Um, and, uh, you know, Frank Moss going off, I think, as well. Very much disrupted the flow. We didn't really get the bomb squad impact because we had to uh, make those early changes. So... Yeah, it's, it's a frustrating game, but uh, let's go through it, shall we? Um, because it is a heartbreaking loss from South Africa. In fact, uh, I've got a good authority that Rusty Rasmus has just come past the media and is in tears, actually, is crying. That's how much it meant to him to try and get uh, that victory because there was so much out there to prove. Um, and to be honest, I think all these two sides have proven is that they are the two best sides in the world. We had just watched the best players in the, in the world rugby right now. Go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Let's look at it, shall we? So early penalty for Jack Crowley made it 3-0. In the fifth minute, um, and then Conor Murray, I tell you, the Irish attack just splitting open that uh, that box defence. Very typical Irish try. Jack Crowley, two players on his left shoulder, two players right shoulder. France Mohuber has to commit to to Ronan Kelleher. That opens a small gap. Bang! Jamie Osborne straight through. Outside pass to Robbie Henshaw. Inside pass to Conor Murray. He goes over 10 0 It takes 18 minutes for the box to get into uh, Ireland territory and find uh, and find some points. Uh, they get a penalty of themselves. Pollard then getting another penalty. 10 points to 6 after 34 minutes. But then two late penalties uh, for Ireland. 37 minutes and 41 minutes mean, meant that they went into the break 16-6 up. And uh, a big uh, mountain to climb. But climb the box did. Four penalties in a row. 44 minutes, 47 minutes, 52 minutes, 56 minutes. 17 minutes to go from being 16-6 down to 18-6 up. It included a yellow card for Caelan Doris, by the way. For a crocodile roll on Malcolm Marks. Uh, very, very poor that from him. And Jack Crowley, though, however, got the point, the lead back just two minutes later uh, with a penalty of his own. Andre Pollard getting the lead back um, another two minutes later. And then another four minutes later, extending the lead. The box scrum came in clutch a couple of times. Um, started to win penalty. The second half definitely grew into the game that the box um, had much more possession. Um, a bit more dominance, for example. I think dominated the collisions a bit better. Um, and then Kieran Frawley, I tell you what, I mean, it was held up over the line, big celebrations, goal line dropout, and he decides from pretty much just inside, you know, the, the halfway line, I'm going to have a crack here. Splits the poles with a, a drop goal in the 69th minute. And then, you know, a late try, a late scrum, um, and they managed to, and it was actually Corley himself, who put the kick in behind off the back of the scrum to, to win that line just outside the 22. Two phases, back in the pocket, has the nerve, slots in the 79th minute, basically in the 81st minute, to be honest. 
um yeah it was just it was just absolutely epic um to be to be perfectly honest so uh yeah i mean if you look at the stats for example they tell you a very interesting story uh territory 51 to 49 possession 47 to 53 very very close um set plays box scrum much much better 100 percent the irish scrum 56 percent uh so that box scrum which wasn't really a weapon a week ago was much more of a weapon this week. Lineouts weren't fantastic though from the box. Lost a couple of very important ones. Just 82% line success rate. Uh, Ireland's with 89%. Um, on the attack though, uh, pretty similar to be honest. Um, Ireland making more passes and more carries. Uh, Post contact meters, the box actually had a bit more 158 uh, to Ireland's 144. Line breaks three um, to, to eight. If you look at the turnovers, for example, um, Ireland winning seven on the ground, South Africa just two. So the breakdown battle was won by Ireland. And we kind of knew that was going to be the case, isn't it? Uh, Frank Mostert spoke about the fact that the box had to clean that up, and they didn't really manage to do that. Uh, penalty conceded, Ireland 11 and a yellow card, box eight. So, you know, discipline-wise, pretty even, to be honest. Uh, tackles made, box weren't great in the first half, got a lot better in the second half, missing 15 tackles out of 100 and making 122. Uh, Ireland makes 117, missing 21. 30 kicks from the box, 36 from uh, Ireland. So uh, Ireland did kick a bit more. Let's look at some of the individual players. Jamie Osborne, I thought, uh, had a really good game tonight. Um, made one mistake when uh, you sort of misjudged that Grant Williams uh, kick ahead, but uh, carried the most. Uh, him and Quacker Smith, 13 and 11, carries the piece. Then Kellen Doris. Uh, if we want to look at uh, line breaks, for example, Calvin Nash with three, James Lowe with two. Didn't really get to see Kurt Lawrence uh, and, uh, and Chesley Colby breaking the line too many times. Uh, uh, in terms of meters carried, Sash Bayman Gomez who topped that with 62. I thought he had a, a struggle in the first half, had a really good second half though. Um, and if we look at uh, at line breaks, as mentioned, they cover Nash sorry there, or defenders beaten. Sash Bayman Gomez Zulu with six, James Lowe with four, Chesley Colby with three. Um, uh, if you look at defense, for example, tackles made, Josh Van der Fleer 17 tackles, PSG at the toy 16, James Ryan 12, Robbie Henshaw 11. So yeah, some great individual performances. I mean, maybe I should be uh, a bit more dejected, but I'm just just trying to come down from what was a great game of rugby to watch. Um, you know, I think, yeah, as I said, I think the main thing is that those, that's the two best teams in the world. That's the standard. And I think they both showed over two weeks what the standard is and should be. So credit to both sides. What do you think? Get in the comments. Let me know. Did the box throw it away? Did Ireland almost throw it away, for example? Who, were the better, who was the better side on the day? Let me know in the comments. I want to know what you think.